Welcome to Carolina Week Sports. I'm Brandon Curry. During a recent trip to the dentist, football head coach Butch Davis received sobering news. Tests revealed that a small growth removed his, his gum is cancerous. Further tests showed no cancer anywhere else in his body. Davis will undergo chemotherapy as a precautionary measure. The men's basketball team is in familiar territory, the Sweet 16. Carolina managed to survive and advance against Michigan State. Here we are at Winston-Salem. The place is packed. I was there. It was awesome. Terry, first up with the basket of the game. Here we have Lawson passing to Hansborough, still in that mask. But here we have him emerging like a butterfly from a cocoon. This is his first shot right here without that mask. He had 19 points in just the first half, which can't count Michigan State out. Drew Neitzel for three. He had six three-pointers, 26 points overall. Second half, Neitzel was off, started missing shots. Same play, Lawson Hansborough again. Hansborough finished with 33 points and nine, re nine rebounds. But let's talk about senior Rayshon Terry. Back in his hometown, Winston-Salem. 12 of his 14 points in the game's last seven minutes. As soon as the clock hit zero, the Heels celebrated their first trip to the Sweet 16 since they won the national championship. All eyes soon focused on UNC's next opponent, Southern Cal. You know, the last year when we played them out there, the second half they kicked our tails worse than anybody kicked us all year long. It was, it was, it was a nightmare. Uh, they do some unique things. They uh, face guard you away from the basketball. They don't play some people at all. Uh, you know, so it's, uh, he, he can coach. You know, uh, as soon as we find out that we play USC, everybody's like, you know, we owe them, which is true. You know, last year they lost to them, so we owe them big. The women's team look to capture a sweet 16 birth of their own, but not before facing the Fighting Irish. Latoya Pringle started out the game with an easy jumper. She led UNC with a double-double. Do Notre Dame kept the game tight, matching Carolina's score for most of the game. And the Fighting Irish got their first lead midway through the first half. It's coming up right there for two. They held this lead for a few minutes, but for most of the game, the lead bounced back and forth between the two teams. Notre Dame scores to take the lead, but Ivory Latta says, nah, uh She puts in a three of her own. Finally, the Heels go on a 15-0 scoring streak to finish off the Irish. The Tar Heels are now headed to Dallas, where they'll, where they'll face George Washington in the Sweet 16. A win in that game will pair the Heels with the winner of Georgia-Purdue. If Carolina survives both games, it's back to the Final Four for a second straight year. The UNC baseball team welcomed the Towson Tigers to Bosch on Tuesday. The Heels lit up the Towson pitching staff for 10 runs on 14 hits. In the bottom of the second, Carolina's Mike Cavasini laid down this bunt that Towson pitcher Austin Hurd misplayed. Kyle Seeger was able to score from second base, and Cavasini ended up on third base, sliding in. Pretty impressive for just a bunt. First baseman Duskin Ackley had three RBIs in the game, including this one-run double in the bottom of the fifth. Six Tar Heel pitchers took the mound and allowed the Tigers to score only twice. Coach Mike Fox reached a milestone with this 10-2 win and now has 900 victories. And it's official, Terry has been diagnosed with strep, but is still expected to play Friday. Okay, that's all I need to hear. <laughs> Great, thanks Brandon. Thanks Brandon. Well, you know, it doesn't matter if you're a freshman, a senior, or even a graduate student, it's easy to catch basketball fever at UNC. And trust me, it can be fun, even if you have no idea how bracket pools work. Next, we'll see how some new students have developed a taste for March Madness.